When assisting youth in developing their transition plans, it is critical that all domains of adult living be addressed, including health and social service needs. Health services include wellness programs, medical care, physical rehabilitation, assistive devices, and mental health services. Social service needs include such things as transportation, housing, and legal services. No youth should be considered unemployable because of his or her need for health and social services. Rather, these needs should be addressed as the youth participates in various career development activities, including the job search and even while on a job. The same applies to participation in post-secondary education and training. Through the collaborative transition process, youth and their families should learn about and be linked to the federal, state, and local services and resources that can address their health and social service needs. These services, like all components of the transition planning, are based on the needs of the individual rather than dictated by available resources. Once the needs are identified, professionals must help the youth and family understand available options and support them as they make service choices. The following scenarios illustrate the array of health needs that YTD youth may encounter. Joe has been receiving services under the child mental health system. His family is worried that his care will be disrupted when he turns 18 because of differing eligibility requirements. Rafaela's assistive communication device needs to be upgraded so that she can use it on her job. Freddie needs to be reminded to take his medication. He wants to live independent from his parents. What are the steps to linking youth to health and social services? Identify specific needs and challenges of youth as they seek employment. Identify community resources and services to address these needs. Facilitate referrals and build the capacity of the referral source. And ensure that youth and their families can access and use the resources. Youth receiving SSI or SSDI, or those who would be available for such, are likely to need assistance with such things as medical care, physical rehabilitation, assistive devices, mental health services, housing, transportation, and other ancillary services before, during, and after their transition from school to adult life and work. A lack of attention to health needs and health management could jeopardize goals for working and living safely in the community. If individuals are not healthy, they are not going to be successful in the classroom or on the job. Performance is affected, productivity is reduced, and mastery skills may not be acquired. For this reason, we need to consider health-related needs and goals. Knowing how to manage health issues, no matter the severity, increases the chances of a successful transition from school to work and a productive adulthood. Professionals working with these youth and their families must identify specific needs and challenges, identify community resources and services to address these needs, facilitate referrals, and ensure that youth and their families can access and use these resources.